There we go. Good evening. Look at this talent. My God. It's like a who's who, a who's that. Well, let's start with the man of the hour, Sam Tripoli. You know, I remember when I first met Sam. It was on the street just outside of the comedy store. He wasn't working at the club. That's just where he was living. And Sam, you get laid all the time with the hottest women. How is that possible? You're a fucking gargoyle. My God, most women would be more turned on watching Betty White get a hysterectomy. This is just the first one. Pages of it. But I guess beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. As in, you be holding her down until she says, fine, I'll fuck you. <laughs> Dave Taylor, where's Dave? Dave, Dave was a software engineer before he got into comedy. Brilliant, brilliant career move. Yeah, why make tens of thousand dollars a year when you can make that in a lifetime? <laughs> Where's Gareth Reynolds? Gareth. Gareth right over here. Where is he? Oh, hey. He's Sorry, I didn't... He's like he works at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I'm on the mic. <laughs> Gareth, Gareth, you had a role in the third Harold and Kumar movie, isn't that right? Wow, what a career break. <laughs> I haven't seen exposure that small since Vicky got drunk and whipped her tits out. I swear to God, she took off her shirt and I thought she had three belly buttons because both of her tits are innies. I'm telling you, those things are so small, you can't even call them tits. They're called tizzins. Pete C., you fucking unfunny midget. I'll be honest, Pete, you have a very shitty online presence. The only thing that came up was your Twitter feed. Well, that and your profile on Megan'sLaw.com. I know, second Megan's Law joke. We didn't have a meeting when we wrote these. And speaking of people who have no career, Shauna Craig. You're in a movie called Actors Anonymous, right? Makes sense, I've never heard of you. You're married to Lorenzo Lamas, and I read that because of his past, you don't like to appear on the red carpet with him. I wouldn't worry about that too much, honey. It's Lorenzo Lamas. The last time he saw a red carpet was when he went down on you during your period. a lot more. Oh, God. And you were, yeah, you were in an episode of Celebrity Wife Swap where you ended up being married to Andy Dick. Oh, God. You went from being a llamas to a dick, which is kind of like, kind of like Jason Tybalt, who's a dick who likes to fuck llamas. Ah, it's Tybalt. Whatever. Jason, where's Jason? Where is he? In the back. In back the there. Look at that stud. He's fucked so many women that if his dick could talk, it would have the worst breath. <laughs> The ladies are always saying things about Jason, always saying things like, that's the man who tried to rape me, officer. <laughs> and Amy Hawthorne, Amy, uh, you know, she's a self-described comedy groupie, or as she calls it, a chuckle fucker, which is funny because I like to finger blast women, or as I like to call it, a knuckle fucker. <laughs> Matter of fact, Amy, you and I should do our thing together while you take off my pants and I put your boob in my mouth. That way we'll be a chuckle, knuckle, belt buckle, titty suckle fucker. But seriously, Amy, you're the kind of woman, you seriously look like the kind of woman that I could bring home to my mother. Because my mother loves stray dogs. <laughs> and by the way, I could take it too. Bring on the roast job. Hell, I'll roast myself. How about that Skippy Green? What a prick. I'm serious. It's big, it's thick, not too veiny, really. What a prick. <laughs> We got Clownvis, Clownvis Presley, the Elvish slash clown. I tell you, it's tough to roast a man with so much dignity. <laughs> Clownvis, Clownvis will perform anywhere, anywhere. Kids parties, boardwalks, the naughty show. Hell, Clownvis will perform at the opening of an envelope if the money is right. And, and by right, I mean exists. And by money, I mean a sandwich. 
Clownbus is a buddy. I'm actually Clownbus myself and uh, Bunny Fever slash Skippy Simon. We do a show together called The Cracked Back. Or as it's known in the entertainment circle, Skippy Green, Clownbus Presley, and the unfunny retard in a bunny suit. <laughs> bunny Fever. The only time I ever see this guy work is on this show. And all he does is strike out with every woman he talks to. And yet, yet he's still, you know, you're still making a living. That's strange. I had no idea someone could survive solely on blue balls and shame. <laughs> Bunny Fever is so unfunny, he actually wrote that joke. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Actually, you know, Bunny, he's an amazing performer. There's, I say, miraculous. I heard that one time Bunny was performing for a bunch of coma patients at a hospital, and he was so incredible that everyone in the room opened their eyes, got out of bed, and walked out. <laughs> Two, three, four... Was it, was it Jeff Danis? Da Danis? He didn't make it? All right, well, I'll still do the bit because it's a funny one. <laughs> Jeff, he actually appeared in a web series called Dudes in Bed, where he laid in bed in his underwear with a bunch of other guys. Christ, that's gayer than Bruce Valanche spun bathing Nathan Lane with a dildo in the back of a PT Cruiser. <laughs> Nobody knows Bruce Valanche and Nathan Lane are gay. Really. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Speaking of gay things, Randall, the honey badger guy, is here. You wrote a book called Honey Badger Don't Care. <laughs> Neither did anyone else. <laughs> look at you. You got that hair and that mustache, always wearing turtlenecks. You look like what would happen if a 70s porn star fucked Carl Sagan. <laughs> And you sound like what would happen if Keanu Reeves gargled cum. <laughs> and since we're on the subject of things that sound like gargled cum, the Bar the Barris Kennedy Overdrive. Are they here? Yeah. Yeah. But where, where are they? Man, what a shitty band. I've heard better noises coming from the Octo Mom's birthing video. Many <laughs> more pages. Last one. Okay. Members of the band have included Don Barris, Earl Skakel, Tony Hinchcliffe, and Brody Stevens. It's like the Beatles, except without the talent and completely unfuckable. Christ, the four of you have the sex appeal of radiation poisoning. And then there's the Ding Dong Show, which has the honor of being the longest running show at the comedy store. That's like being the longest working cafeteria lady at a woman's prison. And you usually have the uh, performances in the belly room. Makes sense, because the show feels like an abortion. <laughs> and the show's hosted by Don Barris. Let me tell you something. I've watched his act. And the last time I saw something crash and burn like that, Paul Walker was in the passenger seat. <laughs> soon, too soon, too fast, too furious, exactly, motherfucker. Hey, congratulations, Merry Christmas, good night.